thanks, Senator Luger. <clears throat> Almost like everything he does, I'm, I'm sure everything he does, he's put a lot of time and, and effort into coming up with a way forward. The one thing that I would suggest to Americans who may be following this debate fairly closely, the status quo has a tremendous cost. And what Senator Luger is, is proposing a way forward for the country to do three things we need to do pretty quickly. Reduce our dependence on foreign oil. America is more dependent on foreign oil today than we were before 9-11. $439 billion was sent overseas by, from our economy to purchase oil from some regimes that don't like us very much. And to me, to continue that practice is a national security nightmare and is just unacceptable. So at the end of the day, uh, if we do nothing, we become more dependent on foreign oil. The job creation to come in the 21st century, I believe, will be uh, built around a low carbon economy. It's either going to happen here, China, or India. I'd rather it happen here. And at the end of the day, the wind, solar, battery technology, the nuclear technology, the energy efficiency technology that we're all hoping and dreaming of is going to be developed by entrepreneurs. I'd like it to be American entrepreneurs. The problem with the status quo is that the current laws that exist today really don't, we don't have an energy vision. We don't have an alternative to the EPA. The EPA is about to regulate carbon, and I think that's the worst of all worlds in terms of the American consumer and business community to find a way uh, to avoid carbon pollution. So the reason I'm here today is I want to associate myself with people who reject the status quo. I want to associate myself with a Republican who believes that clean air, reducing carbon pollution, is worthy of our party. I want to associate myself with somebody who's serious about national security and has found a formula to reduce our dependence on foreign oil. And I also want to associate myself with innovative ideas to create jobs. This proposal will do all the things he said. Can it be done better? Maybe. Only if we start talking to each other. To my good friends, Senator Kerry and Lieberman, I've thoroughly enjoyed the process of trying to find a way to recast the Marky waxman Kerry boxer debate to move the country away from a solution that no one seems to be buying into, to do three things, to make our country energy independent, to create jobs in America, and to clean up the air. Senator Luger has found a way forward that I think will be attractive to the business community, to Democrats and Republicans alike, and I'd like to be his partner and see if we can find common ground with other people like Senator Kerry and Lieberman who are interested in the same goals. And those three goals are simply stated, break our dependence on foreign oil, create jobs in America that will never go to China through energy independence, and sure, and try to find a way to clean up the air here in America and purify the water. The one thing the Gulf has taught us, that fossil fuels are a part of our life for the foreseeable future. And the downside to being dependent on fossil fuels is it can be very devastating to the environment when exploration goes wrong. And every barrel of oil that we're losing into the Gulf is making life along the coast, the Gulf Coast, miserable. And that has to be replaced in the short term. And the replacement is buying it overseas. So now is the time to pursue a low carbon economy to understand that fossil fuels have to be found here in a safe way, but break this addiction to foreign oil and leave behind a America where people will be less likely to have to live with the devastation of an oil spill because our economy has changed and we're no longer dependent on foreign or domestic oil as much as we are today. So I'm glad to be part of this effort.